Welcome to the Bushy Black Brother Network. Good evening and welcome to Urban Wine Life. I'm Michael, your bougie black brother. And we're chilling in the wine room today because uh, I wanted to chill and sit down and have a nice red wine from California that I can kind of chill, get a little fruitiness on my red wine and just chill in my wine room. I've been showing a little bit of it, but this is where I chill. I have my wine and I'm I have a good opportunity to just relax and drink and indulge. So, but today I have a Syrah. And I know we talked about Syrah uh, probably about a year or so ago. Uh, difference between Syrah and Shiraz. Really, they're the same grape, but being grown in different um, environments, which gives it a different taste and feel and the terroir which is, you know, the environment, the soil, the minerals, and everything that goes with it, gives it a totally different feel. So you gotta take all of that into consideration. But I have an El Porto or Portal Vineyard Select Syrah from California. Um, and it's from the Saddlehorn Cellars in San Juan, California. I know we had a previous one from the Saddlehorn so I've been getting some wines from them. So once again, I'm getting rid of a lot of my um, subscription wines. Um, and my subscription wines, the Hartford, I mean the Hartwood, the, there's a couple of other ones that I'm getting, but they're mostly from the same area, so I'm getting them from the same vineyard, but just different kinds of select wines. So why this Syrah and what is this giving me? Well. What I got from it was like dark raspberries or, you know, it had a woodsy taste, uh, really kind of slight smoky. I was really um, something that'll just keep me sitting and drinking it. I think this one was a good opportunity to try that. And so the Syrah went really well and I had some chili on top of that. So I was able to do them both. So. Let's get a whiff, and I can tell you what the aromas is coming out of that, and then we'll get a taste on top of that. Let's get a swirl up. Ooh, that's kind of terrible. Let's swirl it in the, the professional way. Let's get a whiff of that. So yeah, um, woods and that kind of woodsy taste I mean aroma I do got like the dark berries it's, it's it's a little lighter on the raspberry side but not the sweeter raspberry but the dark raspberries um, I gotta taste current because that's what a lot of the reviews says dark current but I never had a really good current that I would say yep it's pretty good and on the nose it's a little smoky and a little cherry wood whatever like that but let's get a good see how dark look at inky dark that is yummy yeah inky dark so let's get a taste of that we already got this now let's taste this up what's surprising is kind of like on the dry end so you got some dryness to this which I really like and um, it's really tannic so it's sitting on the tongue you know really kind of tannic in that way but dry because the flavor is kind of gone and then you're just tasting uh, a couple of um, you know you, you got those dark raspberries um, you know, a little of that woodsy even taste on that so here's one thing to keep in mind to take a um, when you put, taking it out, open it up and let it breathe a little bit um, straight out the bottle and drinking it immediately. You're going to get a difference between it breathing and you just taking it straight out. So try to take a look at that, too. But pretty good. It's a nice, good sit down type wine. Um, I didn't expect a lot from it. 
you know, El Portal or Porto, El Portal. Vineyard Selects arrived from California, so 2016. I've been drinking a lot of it. Look at that. I've been taking care of that. I took care of that for the last day or so. And then I'll probably finish it off today. But it's pretty good. It's a nice, good sit-down one. I had it with some, um, some chili. And then I kind of grilled on uh, Memorial Day. And I had it with like a really juicy grilled um, burger. So it says it goes well with like grilled type of meats. So I tried it with the burger and it went pretty well too. Um, my guest was like, oh, that's pretty interesting. So they kind of liked it as well. So it was a, a good selection, good, good taste, um, good flavor, the woodsy taste. If you, you, you know, charcoal, you get those wood chips in there, that would probably go well because those aromas go together pretty well. Um, but good. I, I, it's a uh, $10. So I'm just going to say, price point is $10. You can get a little less, but uh, on the $10, a well worth wine for $10. So if you get it for that price, if, you, if somebody's pushing a little more, I advise you to say, no sir, rebob. Um, no, I'm not taking that. So, but pretty good. Um, something that you can enjoy. Um, a good sit down, because I'm going to finish this off without my dinner. And I think I'll be fine. But other than that, Urban Wine Life. Check us out Fridays. Fridays uh, we get our releases on. Uh, go to UrbanWineLife.com and check out the latest or BougieBlackBrother.com and you can hit the link from there and it'll take you to a couple of different older ones but it'll direct you on the first page to all the newer ones. And check us out on YouTube for sure so you can see the wine and on bougieblackbrother.podbean.com iTunes and we have all of that in there so you'll be able to see it in all the downloads and be able to uh, kind of get that and enjoy it from there but other than that I hope you enjoyed it if you like Siraj or if you like something that's a little not really really heavy but a little more fruitier than like a Cabernet Sauvignon or a Merlot on one end Try this. Take your luck and go from there. Thank you very much. I'm Michael, your bougie black brother, and we'll see you next time. Later.